good morning guys happy thanksgiving i hope you're having a fantastic day spending it with family and friends and having a great time uh, hopefully soon to eat turkey and stuffing and potatoes and gravy and all the good stuff and all the good fixings i'm out here in the freezing cold it's 37 degrees with shorts and sandals on i couldn't help myself had to get up early i'm not getting dressed fully so this is what we're at i came out here to baste the turkey and man is it looking fantastic look at that sucker oh man that looks so good i don't want to keep the door open too long that looks great it's been going about three hours we're at around 160 degrees on the breast so we're almost there uh giving it a little bit more time but uh i wanted to say happy thanksgiving to you guys hopefully everyone's doing great have a great day spend it with the ones you love and uh i guess let's get to the tank right yeah let's do that okay guys let's get down to brass tacks here let me remove my glasses because glares let's get this going all right guys today on the tank we are making a slight adjustment to the light fixture uh, we've been running the ati this is an eight lamp dimmable ati fixture um, if you recall, I spray painted it this metallic blue because I love it a lot more than just your standard silver. Um, I actually only use the one channel on it, which is six lamps. I don't find the need, obviously, for running all eight when I only have my anemones in here and it's not really necessary. And what I'm adjusting to it really isn't necessary either. But um, I've had this for a little while and I've been meaning to do this and showing this modification that you can make to your ATI sun powers and probably to a lot of other fixtures that are out there, but it's actually very, very simple to do it onto um, the ATI fixture. And that is this. This is a Reef Bright XHO LED strip, all actinic, and I've got two of these. Um, I think I'm just going to start with one. Maybe, no, I'll probably put both on just to see what it does. but. Uh, this is an all actinic, so it's all blue LEDs in here, 48-inch uh, unit, and these are great LEDs, and all we're going to be doing basically is they come with two little L brackets here, and I'm going to take a screwdriver, loosen this up so I can turn it over, and then essentially we're just going to add it on to the side here so I can point it down. Now, um, truth be told, I will take this back down, and I'm going to spray paint this blue as well because... I don't want this blue and black going on personally. So I'm gonna be spray painting this blue um, and get that up. And so we're gonna take this off. We're going to, um, we're gonna put these, put this on. I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you these. We'll talk about the XHOs here real quick um, and we'll go over it and then we'll show, we'll see what it looks like over the system. Uh, Cause this is going to be a huge increase to the intensity that I'm seeing on this system. Uh, even with the six lamps, this is going to make a huge difference. And we'll, I'll try and get uh, you guys up close so you can see the anemone and so you can see what the difference is when I have uh, just my six lamps running and then when I have it six lamps with the Reef Bright XHO on there. Uh, it should be pretty substantial difference. So uh, let's get this going. Uh, let me get my tools and we'll get this set up. Okay, so first things first, um, what we need to do is you're going to take these brackets here uh, and you're gonna flip them around. Uh, they originally are on the short side uh, bolted in and we just uh, removed the screw, took it off and then flopped it around so we have the long bracket so we can actually uh, tilt this all the way around the fixture as far as we want to. Um, so that way, uh, once we get it hung up, I can adjust it and make it at whatever angle I decide uh, I want to. So um, from there, we are going to look at these two bolts right here which are star fittings. Uh, so we need to get, I need to go grab my star fittings. Um, but this bolt here, or that uh, screw here, uh, this screw here, we'll take those out. And that essentially is going to be what um, are gonna go onto this fixture. Uh, we'll just bolt it up to this side here on each side and we'll be good to go. It is so simple and it's a great way if you don't want to go all LEDs, but you like the effects they give and you like the and you like the impact it gives to as far as uh, intensity and coloration goes. And we'll, like I said, I'll show you here what it's going to do in a second. Um, but if you want to do that without spending all that money to go full fledged LEDs and you like your T5 setup, but you want a little bit of extra, 
this is a phenomenal way to do it. And again, this isn't gonna be just uh, limited to the ATI. You can do this with a lot of fixtures. So what I'll do is I will actually remove these again because uh, I need to mount them inside the fixture first. Then I'll hook up the strip because otherwise I won't be able to get in there with a wrench. So let's get that wrench. I'll take these off and we'll get this plugged in. All right, third time's the charm, right? Stupid me, I grab the wrong hole for the screw, for the bolt. <clears throat> and that was not the one I needed. So uh, we went down to the bottom one. I didn't think this was, the bottom one was the one that we wanted, but uh, apparently I was wrong. So now let's try and see if I can get this to fit in and not be such a dummy. Again, I didn't make that 100% tight because I wanted to be careful about being able to move it if I needed to, but okay, that side is in, and I think by the looks of it, we're good. Hopefully, now that that's in. And tighten this back up. Now we're good here. Now I have to adjust my fixture to account for the heavier weight on the front. Obviously, if I put on the back one, um, it'll balance out anyways. But for now, I'm just going to do the front so I can show you what it looks like uh, with just one. And then eventually I'll get two on so you can see what that looks like. And bam, it is now back to level. Well, almost. Let's try that a little bit more. Man, someone needs to do some dusting around here. All right, so that is now back to level. Uh, I could bring it a little lower if I wanted to. As you can tell, it's angled a little bit back, so of course I can do whatever I want if I want it straight down, if I want it angled. Obviously, I want it a little bit angled in just so it's not spilling over the front of this tank. Let me back you guys up. Um, I'll get this thing plugged in and we'll take a look. Now I gotta do some cleaning up here, darn it. Now let's, um, I'll take it back here, we'll plug it in and we'll see the differences between the two. Okay, so this is where we're at. Um, uh, I think this is what the tank looks like um, under my normal lights, uh, just adjusting with the color balance. So I feel this is 100% natural to how my tanks look to, to my naked eye, so it's not being adjusted by the camera. It's auto-tune and making it whatever it wants to because this orange paint behind it, so it kind of throws it off normally and makes it look a lot warmer than what it actually is. So this is what it looks like with just my ATI on. This is actually only on at 35% right now. I never go 100% because I don't need it right now. So <clears throat> I'll show you what it is for mine and what I've got going on, which is at 35%, and then I'll throw this Reef Bright XHO on. So there it is now with the uh, with the XHO on. Uh, to me, I mean, it's a huge difference. Uh, it, it definitely has a lot more blue to it. Uh, you can see some of the coral, and I, and I don't know how much of this you can tell, and I'll get you up close to the anemone, so maybe it's a little bit easier for you, but it definitely fluoresces a little bit more. Um, and a big, big factor here that I'm seeing is the shimmer effect that I get on the sand. I don't get much of it with just the T5s. Um, I do get a little bit, but nowhere near as much as what's happening now with the XHO on there. If you like that shimmer effect, and I do, um, <laughs> that, has, that has increased that 100%. So uh, again, I'll turn it off here so you can check it out. And hopefully you can see that shimmer effect, just how much it changes here. You can see it a little bit ripple maybe, um, but nothing near to the point of when the XHO is on. And again, with the fluorescing of the uh, anemone, 100% different as well. So that's actually, you know, it's pretty substantial. Okay, so we're a little bit closer, uh, trying to get as close as I can to the tank so you can really see that anemone and the colors. Um, again, I think that's pretty true to what I see to the naked eye. Obviously, cameras, they do their thing, but I think that's pretty darn close to it. So let me throw on the Reef Bright. 
And yeah, you. I mean, immediately, you can tell the difference of how deep purple the rock looks on it, how much that red and even the green underneath, you probably can't tell maybe the green as much as what I can, but that green base of the anemone, just how much that has really popped out. Um, but the orange, orangish red tentacles, you, those have definitely fluoresced a lot more. Um, just really cool. And uh, I think you can tell here, um, I'm gonna turn it off again for you. Take a look at the sand. Uh, I'll put it down just a little bit here. Hopefully you can see all the reflection and the shimmering effect that you get on the sand that a lot of people talk about. I'm gonna turn it off so you can check out how much it dies down. And there it's off. And again, just a night and day difference between the coloration uh, that we see and the shimmer effect that we see. So now what I'll do is I'm gonna throw these uh, T5s on at 100% just to check out what they look like. And then with the added um, Actaniconic. So we're at 100% on my T5s now, uh, obviously a lot brighter. Again, it's nice, but not necessary for my system with what I have yet. I'm gonna throw the XHO on. And you can dill, still, <laughs> you can dill. You can still see the big difference. Um, I don't think it's as big, obviously, because the uh, rest of the T5s are very, very impactful, but I can still see uh, a lot of the blues that have come in. Um, this purple is, is much deeper. The anemone still is fluorescing. But what's actually nice with it is you see the fluorescence from it, but you don't, uh, to me, it doesn't take away from the daylight that I have showing on this as well. Now, if I threw on a second one, obviously it's gonna double the impactfulness of what's going on. But to me, this is actually a lot nicer. I like this a lot better simply because I really like that daylight look. Okay, so let's talk about the Reef Bright real quick. This again is the XHO. Uh, it has a black housing. You can technically special order it in silver. We can get that for you. You just gotta give us a call and let us know and we can get that for you. Um, but black housing normally, I'm gonna paint mine blue because I wanted the match. I do like that, so maybe I'll leave a little black trim or something like that. But um, I'm going to spray paint that in metallic blue to match everything. Um, as far as sizing goes, wide range. You can get 18, 15, 24, 30, 36, 48, 60, and 72 inches. So you got a lot of options there. And even to that extent, some of them can be custom made if you have a really odd size that you need. We can look and see if we can do that for you. So don't hesitate to give us a call and, and, and check on that if you need something a little bit more specific. So uh, really, really nice fixtures. They're extremely bright, very, very intense. Uh, this XHO is a 48 inch, like I mentioned. It has 36 LEDs, runs 54 watts. Uh, I believe it's on a 90 watt power supply. Um, one thing to note about it, as it is, as I have it right now, it is simply on and off. And that's how they come out of the box. You get your power supply, you get the unit, and you plug it in, turn it on, turn it off, or you can use the timer or whatever. Uh, they are a very straightforward LED, but they're very impactful. They pack a huge punch to your tank, um, add a lot of supplemental. Uh, this one is, again, all the all actinic, so it's all blue LEDs, but you can also get a 50-50 mix, which is going to be blue and white LEDs, and then you can get an all daylight. Uh, but for now, I'm going to take this back off. I'm going to get prepped for painting. We're going to spray paint both of them. So that's it. That's it, this is simple. I love these guys. Reef Bright's a great company. Go check them out. I'll put a link in the description below. Check out the controllers, check out the dimming cable. Um, there's a lot of different options out there. So um, go check them out and they're probably gonna have a good deal right now since it's Black Friday. So that's it for me guys. Have a great week. If you haven't, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell for the notifications so you stay the most updated on this system as well as your other videos. Give me some ideas for fish. I need your help. Come on guys. Let's go. Don't be lazy. Hit that comment button. Fish. What? Let's do it. Come on. Okay. Thanks. Uh, have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.